Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's, B, uh, in today's video, guys, we'll be working on a BMW F10. This is, guys, the 5 Series. I think it's a 5 Series from year 2009 to year 2017, guys. And uh, we will show you guys the signs. We will explain the signs of a jumped timing chain, guys, and what to expect. Okay, as you know, guys, this is a common problem with the 5 Series, guys, jump timing chain, especially if you have one. Okay, stay with us. I'm going to tell you what year it is, guys. And if you have before that, Year, most likely you, uh, you, uh, there is a possibility for you to jump the timing chain and we're going to explain about that problem even more guys quick introduction every single car we get at the shop including this BMW here guys we make more than 200 videos however guys on this BMW and that engine will probably have close to 400 videos why we do all that guys simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to your channel and like the video guys hopefully you will find the information helpful now this one has a timing chain that just jumped guys and it has only 85,000 miles so we're going to cover more about that today if you need any parts or tools to fix that we we'll have guys the links in the description of the video below for your convenience take advantage of it guys and check it out now this is guys the BMW this is a 528 but even if you have other N20 B20 engines guys with different output 520 525 528 guys procedure will be about the same even if you have the guys okay if you have the 535 I think it may cover that one as well now this is guys the two for the N20 and N26 engine for the timing chain okay replacement installation and timing marks this is the timing chain itself okay very thin timing chain this is the plastic guides right here guys from what i understand that guide right here wears out on top and as a result guys the car jumps the timing chain what are the symptoms now stay with us i'm going to poke the scanner quick and after that we're going to talk more about that we'll explain what ears are actually uh more likely to jump the timing chain and what to expect when that happens guys so i have the key here i have the scanner connected guys okay let me okay let me show you here now what we'll be doing this is a 2013 model but the car is made actually in october 2012 so i'm inside now guys okay what we'll do we're going to turn the ignition switch on okay ignition switch is on we'll have the computer going here okay and let me start from the very beginning and show you guys okay what we'll be doing here that computer works on any car not just bmw guys it's amazing too okay you can see how many makes it supports even we've used it on our porsche cayenne so definitely guys worth the investment and it can pay itself off in just using it a couple of times so check it out guys we'll have the link in the description of the video below if i click vin number it will auto detect it guys and it will tell us exactly which vehicle we have now you guys have to have the ignition switch on okay and ours okay is a bmw european it's connecting now it's loading the program okay it says charge battery it just turned the ignition off so i'll turn it back on this is the vin number we are going to actually go ahead confirm this is the f10 bmw 520i n20 engine guys october 2012 is a build date on this we click yes okay it's loading all the data now it's loading all the data and it will just take a little bit of time okay to establish communication and all that stuff so we click right here guys diagnostics control unit and we will select next drive engine motor electronics and uh, let me show you now right here we'll click read codes and the codes that we have in the system now guys that are stored in the system check it out okay one of them is charging pressure control switch off ignore the first code this is guys the code that is super important this code right here 130 e20 guys it says intake camshaft offset angle to crankshaft out of out of tolerance which means guys the timing chain most likely jumped as a result guys the intake camshaft sprocket is turned a little bit in a different angle than it should be and the car is detecting that by calculating okay the position of the crankshaft through the crankshaft position sensor and the camshaft position through the camshaft, camshaft position sensor guys so this is one of the signs you will get a code guys what else now let me get out and i'll explain what else can go wrong another thing guys okay timing chain whining that's another sign guys you will hear your timing chain whining engine whine okay that could be a result of timing chain failure guys so 
you don't ignore that thing and also if it develops too much slack you're going to hear a timing chain rattle noise okay and especially guys you can develop that even on cold starts okay if you notice rattle and noise coming from the timing chain cover from the front part of the engine guys right here don't ignore it guys as i said okay this is guys the two we'll have the link in the description of the video below this car jump that timing chain at 85,000 miles and not so scary guys that we have another 3 series here and we're just afraid to drive it now because it has close to 80,000 miles and I'm not going to even start it until I get a second chain and replace the chains on this one and the 3 series guys with the same engine. If your car guys is built before okay march 2013 and ours is october 2012 it's more likely okay to develop that problem from what i understand even though some people say guys okay some people say that even though their car is built like let's say at 14 2014 15 they still experience something like that but uh, i guess uh, timing chains nowadays and we replace so many in the shop guys I treat them at service, as a serviceable item that I personally replace between 60 and 70,000 miles myself, guys. So, hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.